well, from a wildlife sanctuary to stunning flora. Uh, we had to show you some of this. Spring has sprung and in full swing, and that's not easy to say. Uh, here in London, it's been the warmest day since mid-October. And if you found the sight of uh, these petals soothing, check out our Instagram, where you can see more of the capital's beautiful spring flowers. And on that note, Sarah's here. And uh, it is lovely to see the weather making so many people smile. And you are blending into the background nicely. I've dressed it appropriately. <laughs> Five months and three days since we saw anything as warm as today. 21 Celsius, 20.5 actually it was, out towards north or west of London. But yeah, round up to 21 degrees. That's what we saw at the peak today. And as Riz rightly says, wow, isn't it just absolutely stunning out there? Not only is it warm, of course, we have those beautiful blue skies setting the blossom off nicely, but we didn't all get to 21 degrees. Just wanted to point that out. If you're out towards the east, just along the coast, yeah, it was a little bit cooler and fresher here. But the average daytime high at this time of year is somewhere around 11 or 12 celsius so we did pretty well however it's my favorite time of the year because i get to use the phrase diurnal spread which is that kind of swing from day to night and yeah look at this down low enough for a touch of frost into tomorrow morning in our sheltered suburbs but a beautiful beautiful day again tomorrow really we're just uh, rinsing and repeating all the same as today sunshine right the way throughout a little bit of fair weather cloud maybe 20 celsius in quite a few spots maybe 21 degrees again that's 70 in fahrenheit here's your air mass chart and it shows you where we've got the warm air, the yellows. But you can see as we move through towards the end of the week, a little bit of blue just starting to mix in. So we're not going to sustain those temperatures, although it will be another nice day on Thursday. A little bit of mist and fog potentially first thing on Thursday morning. Just watch out for that. But then a cracking day once more with those blue skies and temperatures certainly up into the high teens. So we are well above average for the time of year. But I do think tomorrow is probably going to be the peak of it. And the reason is because high pressure is in control of our weather. So we're settled, but it sort of slightly drifts a bit further westward, cuts off that very, very warm air supply. But it does keep us nice and settled for the next few days days couldn't sustain it all the way throughout there you see there is a slide off in the temperatures into the first half of the weekend particularly then we start to pick up a bit more in the way of cloud and then just as the clocks go forward to start British summertime on uh, the early hours of Sunday morning Sunday evening we'll have sunset around half past seven but things are turning cooler and I have to say look at that massive jump off in temperatures at the start of next week we're going to go the other way it's going to be quite chilly we'll take it until then yes <laughs> Sarah thank you and that is where we leave you. Thanks very much for watching. A reminder, with the Ukraine crisis, uh, there is live online coverage of the latest developments on the BBC News website and news app. From all of us here, enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.